hey guys welcome to Android guide in this video we are going to have an overview of the restructuring remix 5.7.0 and uh, as you can see that this is a restructuring remix 5.7.0 and this is based on android marshmallow 6.0.1 and it comes in with the june 2016 security patch 2 and uh, the build date is 17th of june and the uh, built-in kernel is at enforcing by default and of course you can change it to permissive under the configurations menu which I would be covering later on and uh, you know the major change is that this build introduces from the 5.6.91 uh, that uh, you know you get the jello browser in um, so you know jello browser is a modified form of the chromium browser and uh, you know this mod has been developed by the signage and mod team themselves and uh, you know you, I would just uh, show you in brief what extra features does Jello browser offer to you. Um, you know, so the first uh, feature that you can see is that uh, you can save pages for offline reading. You know, and uh, then you can just scroll through, scroll in through your favorites, uh, history, and the saved pages. And uh, then we have. Uh, uh, you know we have the edge navigation you know you can just navigate through different tabs by swiping across your edges and you can also navigate across your history too or you know just do nothing if you want to choose that then we have the immersive mode too which will you know allow you to browse your uh, which would allow you to read across the web pages or browse them in full screen mode then we have the colored status bar and then you also have the night mode which you know uh, which is easy on your eyes when you are reading in less light then we have the privacy and security settings you know you can request that do not track mode and remember passwords third party cookies private data you know etc we have all these settings in here and then you also have a pop-up pop blocker in here too and then we have the content settings you know you can enable javascript text encoding load images etc you know you can just disable load images if you want your web pages to load faster or you know when you are your on your mobile data or you know something or on a wi-fi connection which is a tad slower then you also have the look lock option you know which prevents other apps from reading the web view content from the jello browser and you also have the power save mode the accessibility which allows you to you know adjust the text scaling and the font size and then you also have that force enable zoom feature which is enabled by default i just check that in you know because it is this feature is very handy on sites such as facebook which you know do not enough it, which do not allow you to zoom into the web pages by default but by enabling this feature you can do that then at the bottom we have the reset to default settings okay so these are the features which the jello browser has to offer and uh, you know we have we get add away audio fx the jello browser and uh, you know the sanjay mod file manager we also have the kernel auditor in here and omni switch and uh, you know you also get screencast sound recorder um and i would just show you the built-in wallpapers which we get so these are the wallpapers which we get okay and then under the i don't think that we do get any widgets which are specific to the restriction um yeah and you know you, you do have your power control options in here you know, these are the options which you get um then under yeah so we have most number of customizations under the configurations menu so we have the status bar settings here and under the clock options we have you can adjust the clock style right center left or you can just hide it then we have the mpm style you know you can just i will just show you the normal and the small font sizes option you know you can just have a look in the top right corner you know this is the normal one and this is the small one or you can just hide it and you know similarly with the date then we have various date styles you know the normal one is the one uh, in which the first character is uppercase followed by lowercase characters you know and i guess the lowercase and the uppercase characters are pretty clear um then we have the you know you can adjust the position of the date left of time or right of time then we have various date formats you know you can just have a quick glance at them um then uh, you can change the color of the uh, clock and date then we have various font styles you know, these are the ones which you get then you know you can adjust the clock and date size in the end 
okay um next up we have the battery status style these are the options which you get then we have the battery percentage and again, you know you can just hide it or show it inside the icon or next to the icon then we have the battery bar settings you know you can customize the location of the battery bar top of status bar or top of navigation bar or at the bottom of the navigation bar then we have the battery bar styles regular center mirrored or reversed um then we have the charging animation too if you want that then we have the battery bar color um the thickness of the battery bar you know and then you can customize the charging color and the low battery color too okay um then uh, we have the status bar icons you know from here you can just uh, you know uh, if you don't want to show certain icons on your status bar such as you know if i currently at the moment i am using the wi-fi and as you can see that the icon is showing there in the status bar and when i just check this option off the status bar uh, the wi-fi icon goes off from the status bar so you know you can use this option to either hide or show the icons which you want to from the status bar then we have the status bar icon colors um you know you have the notification icon colors status bar icon colors signal colors no sim card colors um airplane mode colors and the battery colors then we have the carrier label settings you know you can enable it either both on your key card or your status bar or on either of them then we have the custom carrier label um then you can customize the color too then we have various font styles here as i had shown to you earlier then uh, you have the carrier label text size too and you know you can just hide the carrier label when there are a certain number of notifications which helps in avoiding the cluttering of the status law um next up we have the traf network traffic settings you know you can either show the outcoming incoming or both the uh, network traffic um then i would prefer to have both of them then we have the display unit bits per second or bytes per second then you can change the color to then we have the update interval auto hide and then you know you can hide the arrows if you want to when there is no data exchange going on and then you have the inactivity threshold at the end um then you have the restriction logo you know you can just show that um, i would prefer to have it for this video and uh, you know then you can have left center right or just before the status bar icons then we have the status bar weather temperature you, know, you can just show it with scale or without scale then you know you can adjust the placement if you want to left or right and then we have the temperature color too and then these are the various font styles which we get um and then in the end you can customize the size too then we have the miscellaneous settings um you know brightness control notification count double tap to sleep super user indicator you know 4g instead of lte 3g instead of hspa then we have the breathing notifications missed call voicemail and sms um then we have the notification draw settings and notification header you, know, you can enable the time contextual headers if you want to and you know these are the options which we get um you know we do have certain new ones in here to and you know i would just show a few of them to you um you know this is the one which is enabled by default you know it is based on the time then you can have the nature time based one too um then maybe splash you know these are the spla splash ones um okay the other textured color ones and then uh, you have the pixels one the pixels full version 2 um and then uh, you know i would show you the paper ones okay um magic camouflage well then we have numerous options in here too you know, and the end i would just show you the orioles one and this is what we get okay and then in the end you can also just the shadow header image um then we have the header items you know you can show the and these are the options which you get in and you know you can just show the way you want to do in the end um then we have the notification header colors you know these are these are the settings which you can customize and uh, uh a bigger pattern it is the notification header fonts and you know you have these font styles um then we have the notification header colors you know you can customize all these colors then 
next up we have the force expanded notifications disable immersive mode messages then in the end you have the notification colors you know you can enable that if you want to then you can colorize the media background if you want to and then you have the notification background notification background on long press clear all icon and then you know you have your opacity settings for the quick settings panel quick settings header you know volume dialog power menu and the power dialog dim background amount too um then you have your quick quick settings panel setting uh, customizations you can enable the quick pull down if you want to then you also have your smart pull down in here then you can choose the number of quick setting tiles you want to show per row then you can enable the three location states in the quick settings if you want to then uh, you know enlarge the first row quick setting tiles you know these are the tiles which are there and uh, you know these are tiles. you can just have a glance at them okay um then you can also adjust the quick setting colors and uh, these are the options which you get um then uh, you all you can either enable or disable the quick settings on the lock screen then we have the tile animation settings you know flip or rotate um, I would just show you to you know suppose uh, this is the flip one suppose if I toggle off the Wi-Fi then you know this is the flip animation and uh, if I enable the rotate animation and I toggle back the Wi-Fi on you know this is the animation which you will be getting and then you have the tile animation duration you know low default fast super fast and then the tiles animation interpolator too these are the options which you get then you have your brightness slider settings and uh, and then you also have the brightness icon then you have your navigation bar settings um, we do get the, both the smart bar and the fling gesture interface interface then you have your smart, smart bar settings here um, you, know, you can also have that navigation bar button tend if, tend if you want to um, then you have your button touch animations you know you can also show the input arrows or the keyboard switcher which allows you to you know uh, change between uh, change different keyboards if you are using multiple keyboards um, then you have your context button layouts option and then you know you you can have those you can customize the actions the double tap and the long press actions and uh, you know uh, you can also change the icon or add another icon and uh, you know further customize its long press action short press action and the default action you know you can just enable default and by pressing on that uh, reset header uh, icon in the top right corner you can you know enable the enable back the default settings um and then you have your pulse animation settings here and you know uh, you can adjust the width of the pulse bars the spacing too then you also have the block size the block spacing and then you also have the visualizer sanity level and these are the options which you get okay in the end you can customize the portrait height and the landscape width and i think that's pretty clear then uh, you have your button controller here um you have your power menu you know you do get tons of options here so just enable all of them and then show you the power menu you know this is how your power menu lo will look like if you have checked in all the options and then uh, you know you can also use the power button to end the call press the power button twice to launch the camera advance reboot wake up device on so call you know and these are your hardware settings which you have and then you also have your short press actions long press actions then you can you have your volume button settings wake up device playback control control ringtone volume your keyboard cursor control um then you have you know your uh, shortcuts here to volume down plus power button would trigger a screenshot or or the volume plus button or and the power button would start a screen record then you can reorient them when your screen is rotated you also have the volume up key answer and the volume steps you know the minimum is 5 and the maximum is 60 and these are the uh, settings which you can customize and then uh, 
you have your recent settings um, you know you can show the search bar if you want to memory bar you have the clear all button settings and you know if you want to include the foreground task in the uh, when you clear all the tasks then you can customize that too then you have the location settings you have you get the entire six locations here then you know pick which apps to exclude you know you can just add any app if you want to and uh, then you have your decent styles um, you, know, you also get a great number of options here too you have your button styles you know these are the options which you get then you know you can animate that uh, clear all icon action too you know you have your rotation decent exit you know again <coughs> you know if i uh, start showing you all then you know this video would become really very long then uh, you have your buttons background memory bar background um you know these are the things which you can customize um then uh, we have your immersive recents and then uh, you can show the clock if you want to show the date and you also have your slim recents and the omni switch and these are the options which we get in the slim recents I'll just check them off um, then next up we have the lock screen settings you know, on the security you can have the power menu on the lock screen if you want to and you can change the lock screen notification count to media settings show the media cover art and the music visualizers if you want to lock screen ui you can have the lock screen blur lock screen colors you know these are the settings which we get then uh, lock screen and the lock lock fonts you know, these are the options which you have um then you have your lock screen date fonts similar options in here in there too then you have a clock font size date font size and date and time settings you can you know show the clock hide the clock date alarm charging current and then you have you can customize your bottom sh bottom shortcuts and the uh, quick shortcuts too okay so you then in the end you have your gestures you know double tap to sleep on the double tap to sleep on the lock screen and the lock screen torch then you can customize the wallpaper too and you have your various weather options in the end and then you can hide the weather panel you know automatically or you can uh, select a custom number of notifications after which the weather panel would be hidden then you have your animation settings you know, these are the animations which you can customize and then you have your toast animations you know, these are the options which you get then you can show the toast icon if you want to and then you have your list view animations again these are the options which we have your power menu animation I have left off the bottom one and then in the end we have the IME animations enter animation exit animations and the interpolator one too um, and then you know you can reset animations to default and then you can also customize their, their duration too um, and then we have multitasking you know you can enable the multi window mode if you want to floating windows and uh, you also have floating windows and pie control too and i would just show you the floating windows feature and uh, you know this is um these are settings which we get in pie control you have your pie targets um, your pie color settings then pie size gravity style angle and the item map um, I think that I missed the gestures option and then you know here you have your gesture anyway and the app circle bar and uh, in gesture anywhere you also have your three finger uh, you know swipe down to take uh, swipe down your three fingers to take a screenshot I'll just show it to you as you can see that it's a pretty handy feature so i would prefer to have that and then um under miscellaneous settings you know you as i was uh as i told you you can change your sc linux mode from here and uh, then you have your dashboard styles you know you can customize if you want to show your um, you know more than one column in your settings menu then you can just uh, choose that one two or three then you have your tiles view dividers and then you know etc these are the various settings which you can play around with 
then uh, launch the music app when your headset is connected dose power save mode and uh, you know it you know as soon as your screen would be uh, turned off you know it would uh, this option would force your phone to go into the uh, deep sleep mode you know unlike the feature uh, which marshmallow comes in by default with you know uh, it states that your phone has to be uh, at uh, you know it has to be stationary and uh, then for about 30 minutes and that's the time when dose kicks in and but you know it would, it would disable that 30 minute timeout and as soon as your screen is turned off uh, dose would be set right in okay then you can restart your system here you have your weather settings here and uh, then uh, you know ad blocker is nothing but add away then you can disable the force close notification wake lock blocker system app remover advanced options you know you can you have your sound settings here and then you can also have your less frequent notification sound if you want to then and you know in the end we have the updater now you can check for the updates here and uh, then uh, i'll just disable that those uh, dashboard settings mm. yes, they under miscellaneous and I'll just turn them off okay so then you have your CM theme engine and under sound settings um, you know, these are your settings in other sounds then display and lights you know you have your brightness level adaptive brightness live display rotation settings sleep timeout and then you can uh, change the settings theme to you know by default uh, the light theme is enabled now and then you know if i enable the dark theme you also can have that and you know the automatic one would uh, toggle between the light theme and the dark theme uh, depending upon the time of the day then you have a wake on plug cast wallpaper settings expanded desktop lcd density daydream font size and then you know battery fully charged notification okay mm. then under battery um you know you have your battery saver at 35 percent um, just like in older builds and uh, you know under the security settings you have a live lock screen automatically lock um, you can adjust lock screen message too and you also have your bottom shortcuts option here too then unknown sources is checked in by default um, then uh, I think you know the memory uh, you know this ROM is uh, based on the CM, uh, on CM13 so it is bound to use some amount of your RAM too and uh, then uh, you, know, you also have your privacy guard here your privacy settings block color list protected apps um, you know i also covered about that uh, privacy guard in detail in my slim six room review so you can check that out um, if, uh, if you want to learn more about privacy guard then uh, you have your date and time settings here then you want know, to store it in usb so some of you are asking you know about how much internal storage is uh, used you know after just flashing the rom so about 135 mbs is used and i have not even installed a single app and you know this is the sprout 4 model with the 4 gb one um so you know if you are uh, not using the android one first generation device or sprout 4 or sprout 8 then uh, what i said just now uh, should be irre irrelevant to you um uh, and then you know in the end we have your de developer options um, you know you have your root access in here so just make sure that you check that in if you want to um, you have your animation settings here um, I guess nothing new in here and in the end you have your kill app back button okay Mm. and then in the under performance you know you can uh, you have a corner orator which you get in and uh, you know uh, as I told you that I had to show you that uh, uh, the 
the floating windows um first of all i would you know just like to quickly cover up the multi window mode um you know and just show you how different it is um or maybe just you know i can have the jello browser in so you know this is your multi window mode and uh, if you want you know i would um, just show you the floating window feature so you know using the floating window feature you know you can actually just uh um, i guess you ha you were able to move around the things too um okay no you know but i'm not able to access that side menu in i wanted to show you the settings which you get but um i don't know why but it's not working at the moment let's give it another shot uh. yeah you know it works now so as you can see um you know i can uh another floating windows feature you know you can just uh, i'm able to scroll through the settings app at the moment and in the background uh, you know i'm using the launcher and you know at the same time i can use the background app if i want to you know you can adjust the placement of the settings menu too and in the background i am playing around with the launcher and uh, you know you can also adjust the layout settings um you know snap top this is what will happen then uh, snap bottom um snap left snap right and if you are done using that then you can just minimize it and if you want to access it again you can just go to the uh, recents menu and tap it again to access it um and uh, you know if you want to use the uh, uh use the app in the maximize mode you know just uh click on the multi window feature and just click on the maximize icon so you know that will take you take the back to f uh, take uh, take back take the app back to f the full window mode um so you know we i don't think that uh, i missed out on any features so as i i think that's that's all i have for you guys in this video um so it's the video is already 28 minutes long so if you stuck in then uh, thanks a lot and thanks for watching the video guys i will join you in the next one and uh, if you like the video just give it a thumbs up it uh, you know just uh, encourages me to make more videos for you guys and uh, if you want to if you have a question then you can drop in the comments and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel then uh, make sure that you do that okay thanks for watching have a nice day guys